Good morning. Gary Wagner joins us ahead of key non-farm payrolls data. Gary, good to see you. Always exciting, always ex exciting, and never a dull moment in our markets. My God, what a week we've seen. Gary, many analysts now looking at the 200-day moving average as support. Gary, what levels are you looking at for gold? Well, you know, I, I'm still optimistic in terms of looking for higher pricing. Of course, we've just kind of weathered a correction where we saw the market really top out about 1308 and it hit some resistance and moved back down. Now we have a top at, I believe, 1255. And as long as we get our price point above that, I think we could move to higher pricing. However, if that support level is broken, we have to bring in an entirely different model. All right, so what can we expect from the non-farm payrolls data coming out this morning? Any surprises? You know, I'm not expecting any surprises, but I'm always surprised at what happens. My sense is that we have seen the equities markets really ramp in a consolidation pattern where it moves up near the highs and then back down to support. We now have the Dow approaching those record levels again. I really believe that the economy has been strengthening, although I get a lot of feedback when I say that, and so I would expect the numbers to reflect that. All right, Gary. Well, before we get to your insert, I'd like to get your thoughts on a recent technical piece that Barclays put out, which shows that Feb is a positive month for gold historically. Do you see this pattern as well? Uh, historically speaking, Gary, is there a reason that uh, this month might be good for gold? Well, that's a two-part question, and the why is something that I'm not going to attempt to answer because I don't really think I have a sufficient answer even to myself. But my research has shown that there is or has been what I call a January effect. And I've done research that shows out of the last five years, if you had um, purchased gold at the beginning of January, except for 2013, you would have had a profitable investment or profitable trade. So I have seen a seasonal tendency in gold in which we see prices bottoming uh, end of the year, beginning of the year, and then moving higher from there. All right, on that note, let's get to your insert. What have you brought us this week, Gary? Well, on, on the note that we just spoke about, there's a real case to be made for a bullish model that we are kind of implementing and looking at. Originally, we actually got long gold at 1217. Market came up to 1308, and we actually raised our stops and exited the trade roughly at 1272. We re entered the market at uh, about middle of this week based upon a couple of studies. One is an Elliott Wave model, and I'm going to present that to the chart this viewers today. All right, let's get to it. There is absolutely no doubt we live in most interesting times, and the markets over the last week have not in any way disappointed us. The equities markets, for example, seem to be back on their upside tear and are now flirting with these record tops. This, of course, is the E-mini, a weekly chart, but the record tops up around 2100. If you look at the most current activity, we've had a really, really strong week to the upside, and that's following last week's very, very strong move to the downside. In fact, the one thing that we can say about the markets is that we've got extreme ranges developing, and we have a market that is indecisive. Also, when we look at crude oil, we know that it dipped below $50 per barrel. You can see these lows right in here in the low 40s. And over the last two weeks, we've seen a dramatic rise back above $50 per barrel. And for the first time in about a year, we're actually seeing some resistance in the dollar after it hit approximately or just shy of 96 is currently trading at 94.16. So with that in mind, we could have oil prices beginning to stabilize, stock market returning to and breaking its record top that it recently hit, and the dollar actually finding a little bit of resistance. I believe that we will probably enter short term a fairly bullish mode in gold. The following is really my current model. And this is based upon an Elliott Wave model. These, of course, a very short-term count. But what I believe we're looking at 
is our first wave, wave one. Wave two was actually a 61% retracement of wave one. I believe we've completed our third wave and that turned out to be a 138% extension of one. We then had this retracement when the market hit an intraday high of 1308 and came down and tested 1254. And I believe that that concluded our corrective wave or a wave four. That puts us at the beginnings of a wave five. And my sense is if we see this model unfold with a true five wave count, we should have wave one and wave five be about equal in size. So what I've done is just as we did a fib extension to get to 138, in other words, we measured this distance and then started at this point right here, the bottom or the beginning of wave three, 138% extension. I've also extended this wave, as you can see, to wave four or the beginning of wave four, so we could look to see where that could take us. And when we do that, a 100% extension, meaning if wave five and wave one are equal, then my current forecast is that we will see gold return in terms of pricing to as high as 1360. Now, even if this is how it unfolds, it won't be one straight line up because you'll then subdivide this into a wave count of one, two, three, four, and a culminating fifth. For those of you that are interested in this type of analysis, I invite you to go to our website, thegoldforecast.com, and there you can sign up for a free one-week trial, get the daily report all of next week at no charge. Again, my interim term forecast for gold moving as high as 1350 per ounce. As always, thanks so much, Gary. Very informative. My pleasure, my pleasure as always. And I do want to wish all of our Chartist viewers a great weekend and most importantly, prosperous investing and trading next week. Thanks so much, Gary. We'll see you next week. And thanks so much for watching this edition of Chartist. We'll see you next week.